some manufacturers when you buy the rim, like when we got the rims for the Monte Carlo, they had a ring hub, which is a centering hub, where the aftermarket wheels already got it in there, which fits to that circumference of that circle in the back, so it holds it right center. It centered that wheel to where, you know, it's not a millimeter higher this way, because you got a little plate inside of that nut house, you know what I'm saying? So you tighten one down first, all the way down, and then tighten the other one down, you can have it just off of here. That centering piece is not gonna allow you to do that. five inch lip this is a seven inch lip you know we got three different 26s for all of the guys out there with the big rims that do the 26 28 30 inch wheels you know about three piece wheels a one piece wheel is, is just what we just said it's one piece I'm going to show you guys the differences of offsets with three piece wheels and also the benefit of why you would even want a three piece wheel you know so you know real quick this was a, uh, I believe I wasn't mistaken, it was an Italian design that they did on Ferraris and things like that, where now you have the ability to build the wheel to whatever offset you want. And this wheel disassembles. If you take away the screws that's on the wheel, all of that'll come apart. The same way like if I was to buy a lip, when I had to change my lip, we found out that this was a 40 hole lip, meaning it got 40 different holes, both including valve stem is 40 total holes. Some of them I believe are 40 or 50 holes, depending on what wheel you get. So once you take them apart, this center piece of the wheel and then the outer lip and the back piece, which is called the barrel, all three separates why they call it a three piece. You learn quick, Marshawn. Yeah, so this is a 26 by 10. This is a 26 by 10. But the 10 inches to create the width is seven inches up front, three inches in the back. To create, to create this 10 inches wide, it's five inch lip in the front, five inch barrel in the back. Still 26 by 10 is just a deeper dish on that. Most of the people would like the deeper dish just because of the look of it. It definitely gives it a, a very nice look when you have that deeper dish. But the thing, in order to incorporate this seven inch lip on most old school cars, you have to narrow the rear end, which is the process we already did on the Cadillac, so. BTS V Auto, man, y'all fucking with the right one I'm letting you know, man. Tell your mammy about me, tell your auntie about me. Y'all know the right man when it come to cars. I was doing this shit at six years old, baby, I'm letting you know. Look up my history. Now, the wheel that was on the front of the factory won't fit because the wheel is narrow. But this is a seven inch lip, which is made for the narrow rear end. Got two bolts in, bolt is snug, flush, ready to go. Seven, five, three.